Would you, Adam and Eve, it pulsometer watches? They're a bit like buses. You wait years for one to come along and then two come along in quick succession. Proxima have just sent me their latest release. And yes, it is a pulsometer watch. I recently reviewed the Mancherant Pacer, didn't I? And the brand owner wasn't particularly happy with my review because I thought that watch was a little bit gimmicky. Is this one gimmicky too? Let's find out. You know what? I don't think it is. Let me explain. That Mancherant Pacer was a fairly original design. Yes, the brand owner had used a familiar looking case and bracelet, but I think the brand owner had produced that watch in the hope that we would genuinely buy it to use it as a pulsometer watch to measure either our own or other people's heart rates. And I just don't think that function is needed on watches these days. We've all got mobile phones. We can all measure heart rates using, well, just any watch, let's be honest. But what Proxima have done is they've paid homage to an old Omega pulsometer watch. So they're not really producing this watch with the expectation that people are going to buy it to measure heart rates. They've just added this function to the watch because the original watch that they're paying homage to had this function as well. So yeah, both watches could be categorized as pulsometer watches, but I think people are gonna buy them for very different reasons. Some people are gonna be interested in this Proxima watch because it's paying homage to that very old Omega, and other people are gonna be interested in the Mancherant Pacer because it's a more modern design, it's more original, and well, it's just a little bit different, isn't it? Now, when Proxima reached out to me recently to let me know they've got a new release, I was not expecting this. Um, yeah, this is very different to the style of watches they usually create. Some of their watches are original-ish and some of them are very, very accurate homage watches. This one, albeit a homage, is actually not very accurate. They've moved the pulsations or the pulsometer function to the outside of the dial, whereas with the Omega, it's towards the center of the dial. It's also got a tachymeter function. The Omega had that function around the outside of the dial. So it's a sort of loose homage, definitely a homage watch though. But yeah, it's just not the style of watch I was expecting from them. Massive display case back as well. Sapphire crystal front and back. That window in the back of the watch giving you a fantastic view of the Siegel ST19 movement. This isn't the Swan Neck Regulator Edition but still stunning movement isn't it incredible you can never get tired of looking at these movements in watches they just look magnificent interesting strap on this one as well it's a sort of stretchy springy strap very very comfortable nice hardware as well the finishing on the hardware on the strap matches the finishing on the case which is nice and it just feels like a good quality strap i'm not completely convinced that the colors go but um yeah this is what they've sent me the watch on very nice steel finishing on the case as well the transitions between the polished surfaces and the brushed surfaces seem to be really sharp and crisp not sharp as in going to cut you sharp but that defining line between the two types of finishing looks really really clean polishing seems to be good as well the reflections are nice and smooth and the brushing is nice a very consistent satin brushing nice piece of crystal covering the dial as well box crystal a little bit of domage to it double domage as well so when you look at the dial at a tight angle you've got decent clarity you've also got some blue ar coating on the underside and you can see that in the reflections look and it's surrounded by a very nicely polished bezel as well. Look at that, very nice. I think I was expecting more polishing though, to be honest. Given this is a homage of an older watch, they tend to have more polishing on older watches. Um, yeah, there's a sort of polished chamfered edge running down the length of the case and you've got brushing on top of the lugs and brushing on the side of the case. So yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit more blingy, a little bit more dressy, um, but in a way I'd probably prefer the brushing. I like the dial, they've gone for a sort of rustic color, haven't they? And the hands and those numbers on the dial, well, the numbers are applied, but they're a sort of dusky dark color. I really like that. And they've capped the seconds hands on the sub dials and on the center of the dial with the main seconds hand, which is obviously part of the chronograph function. 
And I think that second hand is blued as well. It looks blued. And it also looks like they're dropping the unicorn logo from their dials. You've got Proxima just above the center of the dial. Look, um, it's quite a busy dial, lots going on, but I guess that is the style. It is, of course, don't forget, a homage watch. But yeah, Proxima on there, look, nice and small, not too obvious, doesn't seem to take anything away from the look of the watch. And so, yeah, I think we're all pleased that they've dropped that unicorn logo, aren't we? Good decision, Proxima, I think, anyway. No loom on this watch, so no loom shots, no loom degradation clip, but I will do a legibility test towards the end of the video. I'll flash you the watch for half a second on three occasions. And yeah, if you can read the time comfortably, it's legible. If you can't, then it's not. Right, let's wrap things up then with a wrist shot and a wrist roll. Here it is on my roughly average sized wrist. These straps, these sort of stretchy double pass straps, super duper comfortable. Lots of options as well. So it's gonna fit slightly smaller and larger than average wrists. It's not too big. It doesn't feel top heavy at all. The proportions are good. It's a pretty watch, isn't it? Despite it having a function on it that you're probably not going to use, dare I say it. Right, guys, let me know what you think of this rather unusual homage watch by Proxima. Um, yeah, I suspect you guys weren't expecting this one from them either, but it's nice to see something different coming out of Proxima. Awesome. Right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. And as always, I appreciate you watching. Cheers, guys.